Hi guys, it's Sam from Creatively Sam's and today I'm making cinnamon roll apple pie. I got this recipe from my husband in the 29 years that we've been married. This is only the second recipe he's ever given me. So of course I couldn't wait to make this for you. So if you want to see how I did this, stay tuned. It's coming up next. Okay, what you need is two packages of cinnamon rolls, six to eight apples, cored, peeled, and sliced. I'm using Gala today. Uh, you need a half a cup of sugar, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a tablespoon of cornstarch, and the first thing we're going to do is open one of the packages of cinnamon rolls and we're going to roll them out so that they're a little flat. You also need a greased pie pan. Okay, keep the um, icing separate. And just separate them. that aside for the other one. And better give myself a little more room. And I'm just going to put this in the pie pan. And I'm going to repeat with all of these until the pie pan is filled. Okay, I've got them all flattened out and I rolled them about as thin as a pie crust. But I've got the bottom all filled in. And to this I'm going to add the apples. And I cut eight apples just because they were small. Okay, in a separate bowl, I am mixing this half a cup of sugar, a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a tablespoon of cornstarch. I'm just going to mix that all up and sprinkle it over the top of the apples. And we're just making this like a regular apple pie right now. Okay, now I'm going to roll out the other package of the cinnamon rolls and we're going to use that as a pie top. Okay, I preheated the oven to 350 degrees and it's going to go in for 45 minutes. Okay, this has about 20 minutes left to go and I'm going to put the 
some parchment paper over the top to keep it from getting too hard. And I'm gonna let it cook for the rest of the 20 minutes. Okay, it's done. Off there. Ooh, look at it bubbling. Yeah, and it's just the same, it's the consistency of a pie crust. So now we're going to take the frosting and just drizzle it over the top while it's still hot. Once this cools down, I'll be cutting it and letting hubby taste it. I'm going both ways so that we get plenty of icing all over the top. Gotta be able to get icing in every bite. Okay, we'll be back when it cools down and hubby gets to take his taste. I cannot begin to tell you how good this smells. So we're just waiting for hubby to get out here and give it a taste and see what he thinks. I wish I could eat this stuff again. Very good. So do you want me to make it again? Yep. Okay. Well, he liked it. It was definitely worth making it. If you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and happy creating, everyone.